And welcome to the final day of the Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championship live from the Convention Centre at Harris Casino in Atlantic City. Just four ladies remain. And our first match is between reigning World Temple Champion Chao Che Yu and Soa Sa, who knocked out Kelly Fisher here late last night in a dramatic last rack decider. Your referee for this one is John Lehman. I'm Mark White, and joining me in the booth for this one, well, I've always wanted a little bit of paradise, and here he is, Keith. Hello, Keith Paradise. That's, that, that's how we're starting off the morning, is it? With that joke? <laughs> Good to see you, Mark. Have you not heard that before? Uh, no, maybe a million, million and a half times. <laughs> so here we go then, and what a talent this young lady is. Beat the reigning oh, look at champion. That. Look oh, at that. and it's a golden break. What a golden way to start the final. Wow, it's 1-0. Early morning drama. I've got to try and contain myself, Keith. Well, she, I guess the luck has not run out for her. I mean, she, she is here because she had a couple misfortunate incidents with Kelly. Kelly missing that nine ball at the end that would have put her in this position. Crazy. She's now here instead. Starts her day with a nine ball on the break. She may want to walk out of here and go down to the casino after this. <laughs> I'm definitely asking Just buy one chip. I'm definitely asking her for her lottery numbers after that. Wow. Yeah, and she's a great talent, though. A great, great talent. Coached by the great King Guy Yong, of course, the Queen of Pool, two-time world champion. And this young lady ranked 31 in the world. Up against Chao Che Yu, ranked number six in the world, reigning Temple champion. And the minute of I say that, she goes from nine on the break to scratch on the break. Yeah, one extreme so to the other. This is a cruel game, isn't it? You you can be you can have everything feel right, and then within a matter of a few minutes, everything feels wrong. Sometimes you're getting the rolls, and then other times you can't you can't buy an open look at a shot. So a nice opening then. I mean, you know, although she's won down, her opponent hasn't had any, had any time to warm up either. Right. So you could say advantage Chow right now. Chayu Chow has had herself a very good last six months. She was a silver medalist at the World Games down in Birmingham in July. Uh, led Kelly for the first half of that match until she made a couple miscues and let Kelly back in. Won the World 10 Ball Championship, won a WPBA event in Wisconsin last month. So she's really been on a roll recently. Yeah, I was fortunate enough to be in Austria when she was crowned World 10 Ball Champion as well. This young lady can play. Both of them can play. Looks like she'll just use yeah. a little bit of low right to get back for the four. Well, first she's going to get John Lehman to clean the cue ball. Yeah, let's have then a look at that. Use. She got a little bit of a skid there, Keith. Didn't get the, the run through that she was hoping for on that. Where do you stand on the on the skid argument what causes it Keith skid argument multiple factors it could be how you stroke it it could be the cloth it could be oh man shock. after my own heart I agree it sometimes it's down to the stroke as well sometimes it's everything it's like asking what causes a slice in golf Bad clubmanship. I try to put it in the simplest terms. At the end of the day, something went wrong. And you can't get it back, so just do what you can. Yeah, we've had a, an amazing week here. Nice little stun that was like a stun run through stun run through off the, off the rail that was beautiful wasn't it looks like she'll play the six into the side pocket and then come back out to put the seven in the corner uh, 
this should be a really, really entertaining semi-final, this one. Chow, ranked six in the world, started off beating April Lance Larson in the first round, and she actually sent the lady sat in her chair at the moment. She sent her to the one loss side in the second round. So you could say she's got her number. She then beat Tani Mina, and then oh, Wu Jin Lee, how good has she played this tournament? She had a really good tournament. Really good run. And then last night beat Jin Hai Yu to reach this final. Look at that. Keith, perfect on the nine ball. She's going to level things up. In it goes. We're all square in this race to nine. Every single rack, uh, sorry, match now is race to nine. So come on in, Keith. I don't really know much about you. First time we've met, isn't it? It is the first time we've met. What I've was heard you up to you. last night? What was I up to last night? I met Keith Paradise last night. Well, that makes two of us. That, yes, you did. <laughs> I checked into the hotel on Friday evening, and they were having a hard time finding my reservation, and the woman behind the counter looked at the computer kind of strange and said, there are two Keith Paradises registered for this hotel this weekend the other one is from staten island i said that i mean you, that's interesting i knew there were a handful of us out there um <laughs> did they cancel my reservation or put any unnecessary charges on my room they did not okay fine <laughs> so um we obviously had the the round of 16 and, and then the quarterfinals last night in between the round of 16 and the quarterfinals as um, Chow breaks dry. Does not look like she's no, pocketed she made, a ball. Yeah, she did. She made the wing ball, mate. And she's put, watch, watch the wing ball. Look, oh, she made one ball. The two ball, was it? Oh, yeah, the, the two, two ball, ball, ball went right in the corner. The I thought I saw the wing ball go, but it wasn't the wing ball. It was the... So we were both right and wrong at the same time. I thought she didn't make one at all. You thought she made the wing ball. <laughs> we both need a cup of coffee. Didn't really Stuns get, that out to yeah. the center, looks like. Yeah, she wanted that to move another two she or three She didn't really inches. get hold of it, did she? A little bit of a quit on the shot there. So I went to the restaurant here at the at the casino. Um, Martirano's an Italian restaurant here. Wow, you've got some money. And I have a dining credit. <laughs> I, <laughs> I made a reservation for 8.15. I got there, and now I have another different person staring at a computer screen with a funny look on her face oh, what a beautiful that shot that was way to thread the needle between oh. that six and that eight beautiful shot Just come out run one rail and play the six or another if I'm looking at the five ball five ball in that corner down at the other end this is the key what do you, shot what do you do with the six ball here Ah, it goes in either pocket, neither mine. Yeah, she'd love to come back down this side of the table. She'd love an angle. She could put a bit of pace into this one. Oh, not enough, I don't think. She's got the wrong angle on it. Oh, that's no, okay. It's a makeable shot, it's just not simple. And then the other question is, how do you come back? I would assume you're coming out two rails for the seven? Or no, are you going to play it in the... No, that sounds good to me. Well, she just took her extension. She's going to think about it. Yeah, her nickname in, in Chinese Taipei, they do literal translations for nicknames and her nickname one two there you go is big eyes believe it or not and i said to her manager why big eyes and he went because she has big eyes <laughs> okay <laughs> <laughs> fair enough but i do love watching this young lady play this game so much talent and she just comes through quietly, n under the radar. I think this is the first time she's been on this stream table, this tournament. 
I believe so, yeah. I have not seen her before. She's going to take an early lead in this race to nine. It's going to be 2-1 to the reigning world temple champion. Can she double up and win the nine ball as well? In it goes, and we're going for two minutes. We'll be back soon, guys. And we're back in this beautiful arena here in Atlantic City in Harris Casino. And look at the pictures, look. We've, we've stepped it up another gear. Isn't that a magnificent arena? It is. It is. We have the names behind each player. That's we, so we, we don't forget them. Yeah. We went full digital. Chow breaking off. Ooh, well, didn't get the one in the side. Got the eight, made in the, the eight. A bit of a saviour. No shot on the one, though, so she's going to have to push out. Just to remind you guys, they are on a 30 second shot clock, but after the break and the push out, you get 60 seconds to decide. A little bit longer. And each player has one extension each per rack. And we are playing for big, big money here today on finals day. $30,000 richer the winner will be later on this evening. Final is at 4 p.m. local time. Runner-up will get 20000 And whoever loses this match is guaranteed $12,000. It's a pretty nice payday for the weekend. Not bad at all. So push out then. She's going to give her a look at this one ball, but she's going to try and tempt her into going for the one. Well, there's a nice safety on here, Keith. If she can hit this as full as possible, send the one ball back downtown, as Tony Robles would say, and try and hide that cue ball behind the 3-7. And this young girl has got amazing fundamentals i've been super impressed with her cue action this week it's just so smooth there we go look perfectly played now then the jump cue is going to come straight out i've been impressed with all of the play from the ladies from south korea this whole week there have been about four or five players that came over from korea that were really just playing top quality pool this entire week. Yeah, and I'll go one further than that, Keith, and say that the quality in general, wherever you're from in the world, oh, oh crazy shot again. Is she going to get a look? Has yeah, she I got think any she luck? did. She has. What an amazing shot that is. 
Oh, absolutely beautiful shot. And I'm becoming a bigger fan of this young lady every single time I see her play. Oh, uh -oh. she might need the jump cue again here. She's gone too far. Go get your jump stick, chow. You need it again. This time, that was a bit of a, a fud, wasn't it? Sort of after the Lord Mayor's show kind of shot. Yeah, and it and isn't it amazing, the expectation nowadays, she's actually disappointed that she's missed that. I'd be happy just to hit it. I was going to say, I think that's the difference between a professional player and, and, a, um, and a league player, is that a league player is just hoping to make contact, just make good contact. Well, it's to my understanding with the training regimen that is over in Far East Asia that they will have a training day that is designated specifically for jump shots. That's all you're going to do. You're going to get up in the morning. You're going to practice jumping. You're going to have lunch. You're going to come back. You're going to practice jumping. Oh, a lovely strike. Beautifully played. Perfection. Doesn't want to be straight though, and I don't think she is. She's got a nice angle on this, can run off the side rail back into the center of the table for the six. This could be going all the way, this one, Keith. Oh, she should just draw off it straighter than I thought. Very nice. And people talking about getting outside industry sponsorship. Keith, I was just Interpol. I was just noticing what you're about to talk about. Well, you can finish my sentence. The logo patch for LG. Yeah. Do you know what LG stands for? I, I mean, did. we all know that it's TVs and I electronics, was gonna say, right? I'm going to talk to her because I could use a new flat screen in my living room. Yeah, they've got a great advertising campaign. Life's good when you're LG. <laughs> Got a little bit out of shape here, though. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, where's the cue ball going, though? Where's the cue ball? <sighs> it just kept drifting towards that side pocket. Just catching the point. Now then, we saw Kelly miss a nine ball like this last night. Sorry if you're watching, Kelly. Oh, beautiful stroke. In it goes. And we're all level once again. We're 2-2 two -two in this first semi-final. Don't forget, coming up at midday today, it's high noon for Kelly Fisher. Uh, sorry, Alison Fisher against Christina to catch have to get one of them to change their surname. There's too many fishes around. Not entirely too many. A great evening of pool last night. Um, How dramatic was it? Yeah, Kelly and, and Sal going hill, hill. And yeah. Kelly being eliminated and then, you know, you walk out of the <laughs> arena and 20 feet away, Allison is upsetting Cheska Sateno to move on to the semifinals. And then after that match was done, yes. we had Christina and that dramatic jump shot she had on the five ball to close out her match. I still haven't seen that. I turned around to talk to somebody. I heard the crack of the pocket, but everyone's talking about that shot as well. Yeah, and Ali Fisher was 6-1 up against Cheska Centino, and it ended up Hill Hill. Yeah. So fan fantastic pull here for the last four days and it's finals day here. Who's gonna be in that final?
just so graceful around the table. Such a smooth cue action. You know, I did the match with Christina Takach and Jasmine last night. And Tony Robles kept raving about Christina's fundamentals. And I think that's the case with both these players. They just have excellent structure and fundamentals and stance all of it. it it's something that, you know, if you're looking for something to emulate in your game, this is it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it, you couldn't get two different players, right? Take Cheska Centino, for example, just pure natural talent. Does, you could say, most things wrong, but she gets the job done. She enjoys it and she's so entertaining. And then go to the other end of the scale, like, yeah, Alison Fisher and this young lady here playing, I mean, just absolutely fabulous fundamentals. The foundations are solid, which hold up under these stressful situations, you know, when it, when it really comes to the nitty gritty. There's very little to go wrong, Keith. Right. It's, you know, you do the same thing every time, everything in line. It's just fabulous to watch. And I really could watch this young lady play all day long. Look out, though. Chow's got her eye on you as well, Keith. Look, in the background. She has her eye on both of us. What do you do here? Come out two rails for the seven in the side? I think she just drags it in. Yeah, nice. Yeah, just like that. Played that well, didn't she? And now drop this seven in the side. As you said, leave yourself a draw shot from eight to nine to take a three-two lead. You mentioned Cheska earlier. She plays like she's late to catch a flight. Just very fast and loose. It's great to watch. It's tons of fun to watch. It's very entertaining. Yeah, Paul needs its characters. I mean, we had it in snooker. We had Tony Drago, of course, who went across to Paul to play Paul as well. We had Jimmy White, Alex Higgins. Great natural talents. The sport needs them. And in it goes. This is great stuff from the South Korean and we're going to nip out guys just for a minute but we'll be back soon Keith's making fun of me. Off, off, off I line. would never. <laughs> I do get a little bit excitable sometimes, guys. Sorry about that. So up, breaking off. Yeah, and it's a dry break. And we haven't seen many of them this week on this table. It's been breaking very, very well. Not this time, though. Now then, has she got an edge of this one ball push out called? No, she hasn't. So she's got 60 seconds to decide what she's going to do here. Tie up those two balls. Yeah, 
she's tempted her into the... And I'll tell you what I don't like about that shot. If she makes this one ball, she's going to have a shot at the 2-9 combo. That's the only thing I don't like about the shot that Charles just played there. Make this one ball and have a go at the 2-9. It's a free shot. It is, but it's not... I mean, it's not a gimme by any stretch of the imagination when you look at the distance between that 2 and that 9. Absolutely not, but the word chance is right there right well she's missed the one ball but she was going for the 2-9 there and now you could say a chance for Chow Or extension has to be careful with the side pocket here. She's having a go at this, you know. And she's got it. What a great shot! Now she's going to have a go at the two nine. So has the push out paid off she's had a look at it look at that I want that nine ball yeah, she's chosen where she wants that two ball as if the nine wasn't there where does she want that two ball to hit the rail and it just so happens the nine balls in the way is it gonna be in the pocket oh it's oh, it's oh. I thought he was going to spin off that into the into the pocket. That's why I was kind of discouraging shooting that combination shot. Because, like I said, there was a lot of distance between those two balls and the pocket. Oh, I like this. Now then, has she got the angle where she can? I think move so. that three ball. I think she I has. Think so. Well, a little bit of high, a little bit of high right. Yeah, and she'd like to just clip the edge of the three, right. just to bring it off the Kick rail. Kick it out just yeah. a little bit. Doesn't want to hit this too hard, or she'll lose the spin. Wow, well, played it well. Hit it a little bit thick, you could say, and now she's tied the eight six up. Can we 86 that? <laughs> Where does that come from, 86, do you know? I used to know, I cannot remember. There's some homework for you. I want to say it's a go I want to say it was a government term. Oh, beautiful, beautiful shot. Now then, has she got the angle? to run into the eight and the six. I don't think she has, you know. Could she draw it back? No, I think it's a little bit too thin, Keith. She's, she's trying to leave herself the bank on this, I think. Trying to leave herself the bank on it. Well, not now. It's going to be a safety. Oh, she's looking at banking it down to the the bottom corner where her hand is, her right hand. Oh, very nice, Nicely very done. nice. And then she's got her in a little bit of trouble here. Just got to miss the eight ball. Oh, brilliant shot. Straightened it up off the rail. Has she fluked it? No. Oh. So now we're going to see this gorgeous stroke. That was so well played. 
She completely altered the angle, didn't she, off that rail by aiming low yeah. and hard. The bad news is she sold out. Although she did leave some distance here between the cue ball and the object ball. But at wow. this level, that doesn't really matter. Well, you're going to hear me say this a lot throughout this match. I really, really am in love with the cue action of this girl. Her cueing is just so beautiful to watch. Just gets so much reaction out of the cue ball with minimum effort, you know. It's pretty to watch. Might even play this up and down. Yeah, up and down, let the stroke out again. Just watch the way the tip goes through the cue ball in a smooth. There it is. Four to two. Yeah. And a race to nine. Opened up a two rack. And we're going to be back in one. We're back here at the semifinals of the Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championships. Seo Sal has a 4-2 lead at the table breaking again. Just put the one ball in the side. Looks like the two ball's dressing up quite nicely. And Mark, looks like she's in good shape again. I'm still recovering. That's why I couldn't do the Are intro. Are you okay? I'm still recovering from your remarks during the break. <laughs> You're a funny guy. I have my moments. So, shot on the two ball. She's looking, is she, can she carry him into the three and take her chances? Can she draw into the eight, maybe? Might be able to just draw into the eight ball here, or the three ball. Yep. Just held the cue ball lovely. What a lovely stroke. Low again on the cue ball here. Yeah, she wanted a thicker contact on the eight, but that's okay. Yeah, she, she's fine. Draw off the side rail for the four into the bottom right. The only real difficulty I see here is that um, that five and that seven being in such close proximity of one another. Yeah, she needs perfect position on the five because it only goes into this bottom left-hand corner, but it's so difficult to get on. I mean, she could play for the cue ball where it is now would be absolutely perfect, but I don't think she can get there. Big draw stroke coming here. Oh, mind that eight ball. She's okay. She's okay, but that's not an easy shot by any stretch. It helps that that five ball is off the rail at least. Yeah, she'll be going for this. Coached by the great King Gaiyong, nicknamed the Queen of Paul. With a name like King, she's got it sewn up. 
king and queen. Oh, look at this. She answered the only question that I had on this rack. Yeah, and now, how does she play this? Does she try to get her in the, in the side? Round three rails. I think she's going high right here. Round three rails. One, two, right, there you go. Oh. Well, she's, for my money, has been the best player throughout this tournament. She really has. Is she going in the side? Yeah, in the side, because just guaranteed to be on the eight here, isn't she? Well, she'd like that one again, though. She's going to get her practice on these side pocket shots, though, after this rack. Oh, he's on the prize. And then back up, and then... Yeah, she's gone a little bit close to this side pocket once again. Well, at least she can cue in the gap of the side pocket. <coughs> this to open up a three rack lead. Oh, superb. Five two. Five two. And Chow is going to take a quick break. And we're going to take a two-minute break. We'll be back soon, guys. Welcome back, guys, to finals day here in Atlantic City, the wonderful resort of Harris Casino. Now, come on then, as we're just waiting for Chow to come back, as we look at the leader at the moment, three racks clear. She really is playing strong this week. Let me ask you about your game then, Keith. I mean, I literally met you for the first time yesterday. Do you play pool yourself? I mean, I haven't seen you on the circuit. If, do you if play? want If you want to call what I do playing... You go right ahead. It's really, um, it's similar to my golf game where it's just, I, I use pool to get in practice for my cursing is really what I do. <laughs> no, I've been a writer with Bill, Billiards Digest since 2016. I write about it because I can't play. That's why I talk about it, because I can't play. So there you go. We should play each other, see who's worse. <laughs> I should really get an endorsement deal with Predator where they pay me every year to not be seen in public using their stuff. 
Well, I want to say a hi. Miss, missed opportunity there. <laughs> I want to say a hi to uh, Nick Teal. I mean, I love this guy, Nick Teal. He's, I uh, miss he, Nick. He was with us, of course, but he's gone on to um, work with Everton Football Club. Um, it's a, well, it's a step down in my opinion, but that's, that's <laughs> just a matter of opinion. Uh, but when he told me about you and I was really commentating with you, I knew nothing about you, to be honest. And uh, he said, oh, don't worry. You two guys are going to get along just fine. <laughs> Nick was my roommate at the World Games um, in Birmingham in July. I did not know I was getting a roommate until I put the key in the door and he turned the light on and was like, hey, I'm rooming with you. <laughs> Were you dressed? We had a I, hope you, I hope you we had, had your had clothes ball. on. We had, no, I was coming in. He was the ah. one. Yeah. He was the night we had one, a was he? ball. It was like two college kids, and we were on a college campus. Uh, they housed us at the uh, University of Alabama at, at uh, Birmingham, and their and their dorms there, which thank God were air conditioned. Bunk beds? No, thankfully not bunk beds. Okay, then here we go once again. Five two up. So from South Korea breaking off she must be feeling amazing at the moment she's certainly queuing amazing and I've, I've been in love with her shoes all week I've got exactly the same pair of shoes on no comment on what that may or may not say about you I will say she made a ball on the break and she has an open shot at the one ball just seen Kim Witzel walking into the arena. Great Christina was Germany. here earlier, too, and checked out the first couple. Oh, was she? Yeah, she was sitting over in the far corner behind Chow. Checking out how the table was playing this morning. Smart move. Perfect view. Oh, she went Over for that. Well, it. she's made the three by default, so she will get to shoot again. It does count. She went full bloodedly for that. Now she'll be looking to get a decent safety in on her opponent. Now I like thinning this on the left hand side as she looks run it into the seven ball and bring the cue ball all the way back down behind the nine. Shot clock just going off the beep, beep, beep. That's not John Lehman reversing. That is the shot clock. <laughs> Played it the other way, held it behind the two, got the one ball behind the nine, is she? Well, this could be I on, Keith. Don't this know could if be she on. got there. Yeah, I'm really surprised. We'll she know by the body way. language. Yeah, that's on. I'm surprised she played it that way, to be honest. So needs to get her arm going again here, Chow. She's been frozen out for quite some time. She's up very, very quickly on the shot, though, Chow. I'd like to see her stay down just that little bit longer. She's got the trademark ready brownie feral on her cue. Quite unusual to see that. I Keith. was, yeah. What is that feral? I was hoping you weren't going to ask me that. I'm regretting mentioning it already. It's just a red one. They used to make ferals ages ago out of a, a um, material called Macarta. I think she plays with the Southwest. Yeah. Yeah, that is a Southwest cue. I'm wondering if that's a Macarta feral. The 
because the Macarta over time was made by a company made by a company uh, where I'm from in Pittsburgh uh, called Westinghouse. And over time, the material would turn that color. The material was also made out of asbestos. Wow. So they stopped making. <laughs> oh, she's missed a missed six. The wow, that could be. She never looked comfortable on that, did she? She was down on the shot, got up. Yeah, see, she was right up yeah. off the shot there, Keith. And that is one of her big, big faults, in my opinion. She does get up early. to catch the eight ball of course but she did catch the logo on her shirt she did trying to figure out what make her cue is it looks like it's a zen well she's certainly playing with that well she's going for this very attacking as well isn't she Look at this for a shot. Where's the eight ball going? Wow, a little bit unfortunate in my eyes. What a great shot that was. Now that eight is obviously cuttable. The question is how much is the cue ball going to be running around the table if and when she cuts it in? Yeah, you just play pace on this. Look at this again. Little clip on it. Oh, don't go on the rail, though. Don't go on the rail. Just watch her fundamentals here, Keith. Watch how she stays down on the shot. So important, guys. If you're wanting to improve your game by a few Fargo points, stay down on the shot. That will help you. I guarantee it. Look. Head down, stay down. In it goes, 6 2. Soa, she's on a charge. This is great stuff from the young 25 year old lady from South Korea. Really is fabulous to watch. And that's five in a row for her. Yeah, well spotted. She won the first one. Chow um, got to the table when Soa scratched on the break in the second rack. She cleared the table, broke and ran in the third game. 2-1 lead for Chow. And then Chow had that push out, and they had the uh, safety exchange on the one. Um, Chow missed that jump shot on the three ball. And that's how we got here. She missed that jump on the three that we talked about where they expect to make them. I've, I've just worked something out about you. You're doing two jobs at once here. You're actually, you're actually writing your article, aren't you, for Billiards Digest? As no, we go I, along. I do the releases for the Pro Billiards series, too. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, so you're the so genius behind that. I wouldn't, I wouldn't go that far. They're written by an illiterate, but... Um, <laughs> Seven in the side. It's interesting. She's making balls on the break, but I don't know if that's the ball she wants to make on the break. The wing ball's not flying into the corner pocket. The one ball's not cutting into the side. But she's making a ball on the break, and she's staying at the table every time. A little push out. So for those of you at new to nine ball, if you don't have a shot after the break that you don't like, you have the option to push out. And then your opponent has the option to either play from where you leave them or they can put you back in again. So sometimes you just want to leave them a little bit of a teaser. And decisions, decisions for Chow. She, she didn't leave her an easy shot, but at the same time, she needs to make up ground. And she, she doesn't want to six, give this two back. Race to nine. This is a perfect example of a clever push out because you just know, well, she's given it back, and I think she fancies this shot, you know. 
She's looking. She's looking for the combo here. Don't be surprised to see the nine ball moving. Well, shall I? Shan't I? Extension. She's having a go at this, Keith. No, she's not. Decided on the safety, just a containing one. She did have a look at it. Decided in the end, though, it was a little bit too risky. And again, decisions, decisions. There, there are options with this ball. Yeah, there are. I think she'll end up thinning it, though. Cue ball back over behind the nine. Although, is she digging down? Yeah, cue ball behind the nine. Play it safely. Tony Robles always says, do what comes easiest. But don't be surprised, kicking at this in the side pocket. Can she get behind that one ball? Kick and stick behind the two. Mm. Oof, close. Now then, a chance. And Chow really needs this one. Could be the opening that she needs. Yeah. She needs to run this table now, get a bit of confidence back. She doesn't want to go five behind. Still not straightforward though. Work to do. This is the key shot coming up. Two to the three. Yeah, how do you thread the needle and get down there to... Or I should say over there. Oh, she's hit it, look. Oh, no, don't scratch in the side. No, she's good. She didn't want to be hitting that. She was trying to come behind it. And a little bit thicker contact on the four ball there, Keith. Could have been in the drink. Could have been. That was the tough part of the assignment, though, securing position on that three ball. Now that she's done that, she should be good to go for this rack and at least cut the deficit to half. Yeah, hard work done. Just has to stay in shape now and do what she does. Just a series of little stops, draws, screw shots, draw shots. Didn't get into that, didn't get into it as well as she wanted to. Wrong side of the six. May just drop this in and leave the longer eight ball. Yeah, she wanted to go further than that. Now she's looking at coming round three rails, Keith. Yeah, she's going round the rails. Oh, this is nicely played. Absolute perfection, great shot. And I think she has just enough angle to pull that ball back down table for position. Yeah, just enough angle. Yeah, just right. Cheat the pocket a little bit and away we go. But stay down, Chow. Don't jump up. And in it goes. And as you said, halves it. 6-3 now. And we're out for a quick break, guys. Be back soon. This is great.
We are back. The semifinal match of the Kamui WPA World Women's Nine Ball Championships. Cheyu Chow just won the ninth game to cut her lead, or excuse me, cut her deficit to 6 3. She's now at the table, broke, made the one ball on the break, and looks to be in fairly good shape on this rack. What do you think, Mark? Yeah. She needs to get her arm going. We saw signs in the last rack that she's up for this as well. Has made the odd mistake here and there, but Soa has played well, solid, really. And throughout this whole championship, she's been my, dare I say, favorite player because she's played the best ball. And it's no surprise, she's here in the semi-final. But this young lady as well can play reigning world 10 ball champion so much talent in Asia what's your thoughts on that why is there so much talent coming out of Asia Keith you're a journalist you do writing for a living you do a lot of research what has your research told you about Asian sports people in general well I think that there's um, first of all there's a lot more people in in um, Far East Asia. Nice shot. I also think that there's a lot more commitment to instruction and structure for the players over there. I mean, they have federations that, that fund instruction and training. I thought he was going to say fed of course then. Federations. Sure. <laughs> I mean, Fedor's probably been to the Far East too. I don't know how much he's helping them out with their games. As she draws back one rail secure position on that five ball in the corner <coughs> pocket sorry to interrupt you carry on and and they were originally inspired by the WPBA the uh, the WPBA reached a broadcast deal 20 some odd years ago they had you know, at that time they were on ESPN too they made a deal to package that coverage pre-recorded and it was sent over there and is broadcast on their television stations and that's what created a lot of the women's pool boom that we see now Wow! over there I never knew that just goes to show whatever age you are you never stop learning when I woke up this morning I didn't know that fact now I do I, I know a lot of I, I know a lot about a little a bunch of things that really don't matter in the grand scheme. Oh, this is I a good rack from Chow. I could give you numerous sports statistics from the 1980s and 1990s that are absolutely in. They, they have no value. That has value for Che Yu Chow, though. Yeah, she breaks and nice. runs and cuts the lead again. This time to six four. This is by no means over, and we're going to be back in a couple of minutes, guys, as the players take a break. We're going to take one as well. See you soon.
welcome back. We're a player light, but uh, taking you know a, a very very strategic break in my eyes because she was set off like a, a steam train, didn't she? Went six yeah. two ahead, and it's now six four. Okay. And you know what? While we have this break, I never finished my story. So there are two Keith Paradises staying at this hotel. Did me, you know? Me and a guy from Staten Island. I went. I had a dinner reservation at eight fifteen last night. I get to the restaurant, and the woman's looking with a confused look on her face at the computer screen. She says, I have two Keith Paradises reserved for this restaurant. One's at 8.15, and the other one's at 8.30. The 8.30 one already checked in, so like when you showed up, it confused me, and I said, take me, point out the other Keith Paradise. I need to meet this guy. So he was at the bar with his wife, um, and... The hostess walked me up and said, you know how you were complaining about the other Keith Paradise screwing up your reservations all weekend? This is him. And the guy just had to like, you got to be kidding me. So I pulled my driver's license out and showed him. Very nice man, him and his wife. And it was just crazy. What are the odds? I mean, my, my name isn't Bob Smith. You know, I don't have a common name. So to have both of us here, same weekend, same hotel, same dinner reservations, like that was crazy. Well, I've never heard the name Paradise before. I mean, and to get two in the same, well, in the same country to start mm -hmm. with, then the same city, then the same restaurant. Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. So we had a, we had a nice chat. I, I we, are, we are obviously not from the same clan of people, hence us not meeting, but we had a very nice chat. I thought you had a, a, a really, really unique name. It turns out it's just very, very common. Chow breaks. Those did not spread the way she wanted, but, but look, she's got a wide open shot of the two ball. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind the way these spread. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely beautiful. Because it doesn't look like you have to move the cue ball around a lot. Oh, this is. I hate this no. expression, connect the dots, but. Whoa. Just a little draw off the side rail here. Five waiting over the corner. Look at the five, six, and seven. That looks like a drill. Well, they're all going to go in the same pocket. We're playing one pocket. Just a nice slow drag shot. Cut that cue ball in half. Look at that, the way the cue ball just slows down. She'd like that one again, though. Yeah, she didn't make it easy, easy on herself but she's young. I'll tell you what, if I got up like that, I'd need somebody to push me off to get me off the table. Oh, to be young again, Keith. If I did that, I wouldn't have a feeling in my right leg for at least 15 minutes. I'd have to limp it off. Played it really, really nicely, that. And now just a draw shot off this eight ball. I'll tell you what, I wouldn't mind just nudging into this nine. Probably just draw past it, though, to play the nine in the same pocket. Yeah, she did nudge into it. I, li I did like that because it, it couldn't really go wrong, you know. So she's on a charge herself now. Chow on a charge. It's now 6-5. That misplaced safety few games back has resulted in a three-game swing. Yeah, now we're going to see the youngster in the background there, how she reacts to being behind. We've got another semi-final coming up for you after this one. It's high noon for Ali Fisher against Christina to catch. To catch involved in, <coughs> excuse me, a Hill Hill thriller last night. I think she, yeah, she played Chihiro Kawahara. Wasn't Hill Hill, I think it was 9-7. Oh, was it 9-7, was it? I know it was very, very close. Oh, yes, it was Ali Fisher who had the Hill Hill against Cheska Centino. And Ali was up 6-1 in that. And the young, pink-haired pink Filipino. I talked to her after the match, and she said she knew she had to get ahead of her early because Cheska plays so quick and so fast that if you don't jump on her early, 
you could be the one staring at 5-1 down in 20 well, minutes. Funny you say that, because in the very first match on this table on day one, Margaret Fefalova had a 5-1 lead against I watched Cheska that match. and lost. I watched that and then, match. And of course, Cheska beat her again yesterday on this table, and she just raced away with it. Incredible player. Big, big future for Cheska. And look at this. This is to draw level. The only ball that's difficult is the six. Needs to get good position on that. If all else fails, she has the combo, the six, seven combo. So just draw this cue ball past the five. Leave herself, she wouldn't even mind being straight on the four. Are you a music fan, Keith? I'm a fan of all different types of music. Why do you ask, Mark? I don't know. I just have these random just, thoughts. Just sometimes. random questions? Yeah. <laughs> I know you don't know me. But jo you'll join us you'll next rack. Mark will ask me my favorite color. <laughs> well, at the moment, her least favorite color is white because it's stuck to that so rail. White to the rail. That is everything she didn't want to happen. This is the first time that Keith and I have shared the booth together. The first time we've met. <laughs> I was kind of scared because I heard you're this big celebrity journalist that can talk for England. And I thought, oh, hello, I've got an adversary here. I, I can talk for what? Oh. Yeah, and it was that cue oh. ball stuck to that rail. Is this a turning point? That was to go level. Now then. What's she doing? She's asking for the cue ball to be cleaned. So maybe that was a poor contact. Can we have a look Tricky. at that again? We haven't seen many skids this week. I remember one. Was that a skid? Oh, John Lehman. Let's have a look again. Do you see a skid? Yes, it straightened up. It did go straight. So it was a little bit of a skid there. And that's why she's asked for the cue ball to be cleaned. You saw she was aiming much thinner. And the contact just threw it to the left. A heavy contact. Is she going to get that? She's playing the combo. Yeah, combo is on. Very much doubt. I think she overhit it, actually. I think she wanted to be a lot straighter on this than she is. That it's always nice, isn't that it? That or on the other it. side of the six ball. Yeah. Not sure whether she underhit it or overhit it. Oh, she's going for it. You can see her aim. And we'll know if it's in before she does. Watch the seven ball, guys. Just took her extension. She wants to look this one over a little bit more. Yeah, this is a huge shot now. The difference between seven, five, and six all. Right in the heart of the pocket. Bounce off the rail. Perfect on the six ball. Really nice angle now to get down table for that eight. Yeah, and if she can make these last three balls, Keith, she will be breaking to go on the hill. Another gorgeous stroke there. Makes the game look so easy. 
when she's in stroke. And again, it has to be interesting to line up this shot while you look at a picture of yourself. Yeah, well, she's got a bit of a sweat on in that picture by the looks of it. <laughs> she seems cool as a cucumber in reality. What a miss from Chow on the five. Well, it wasn't really a miss, was it? I think it was a heavy contact, a skid. In it goes then. 7-5. Soa leads now against the reigning world Temple champion. And she's looking for a place in the final to become the Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Champion of 2023. You know... I always feel like it, it's not the shot, it's the shot before the shot that sets up the miss. And how she went across the table, leaving herself on that rail, I think that was the initial mistake that led to the skid. Yeah, totally agree. Never changes her expression, Chow. Never know what she's thinking. She seems pretty cool herself. She'll just be sitting there waiting, hoping for another chance. Meanwhile, this young lady gets out of a chair, breaking to go on the hill. She wants to make that one ball in the side. She wants to make the six ball in the other corner pocket. And watch where the three ball goes as well. She'll be happy with one ball. She's one made the, the one side. ball. She's made the two ball. Look at the three coming. Look at the three coming. Well, she has three a chance at it. Yeah. She has a chance, but look at the four and five. Didn't make the wing ball. She did make the one in the side. Neither player this whole match has really been making the wing ball with any real consistency at all. I think you go for the bank here and go into the 4-5 if she's feeling very, very confident. I don't think she is, though. Is she playing a safety? Yeah. Oh, clever shot, clever shot, clever shot. Very nice. Now's a good chance as well that she's going to break open that 4-5 and five as well, playing this. Unless she can play it dead weight. Yeah, the disadvantage to trying the bank on that three ball is if you do miss, you're leaving a wide open table for an opponent who just clawed back into this thing from 6-2 to 7-5. To oh, she's sold she out. To, yeah. She's sold out here. Now, this is just off straight. Now, what she could do here is what I like to call a dirty stun. Play a dirty stun shot. Just clip off the five ball, bring the five out, and end up with a shot on the four. Look, she's just seeing what contact she wants on this five ball. Referee John Lehman making sure there's no funny business going on. Oh, she's played oh, the she's safety. Played safety. That does surprise me. You don't look surprised. Um, I'm looking at the ball. She she put that cue ball really in an ideal spot. Because I mean, she's going to have to go up table and back down. I think. The, I don't think the jump shot is there. No, she can play left uh, left hand English on this case. She can kick this one rail. Stand correct. Oh, oh nine ball. That. Nine ball. Oh. oh. Now, can you believe that? Now, that is a perfect example of why did she not take on that three ball? It clearly went past the four. And if you give your opponent a shot, things can happen. And we just saw it there. I don't know why she didn't go for that, to be honest. I really don't know why. Well, that's why she's down there playing and we're up here talking about it. True. I stand corrected. I thought she was going to kick to the opposite end of the table. <laughs> I didn't see the one rail. Well, I must say, it surprised me. And I bet she's regretting not going for it now. What a result Chow has just had there. And now she's breaking 
to get back level again. Yeah, that was a real. That could that has the potential to be a real momentum swinger. Imagine if she makes a golden break now. It's not going to happen though. Nine never moved. But look, look Four at this, ball, look man. at this. What a lovely little kick that was as well. She's on the one ball. Look at that little kick from the eight ball on the one. It's a great it angle to get back out for perfect. the two. And they're all in the open. There's not a difficult ball on the table. It's all about this one to the two. Extension goes on. I was wondering, Keith, and you're probably the best person to ask this question to. Which means I'm probably the worst, but go ahead. <laughs> Has any female ever held the nine and ten ball world championship at the same time? Oh, that's a good question. Finally. Maybe I, maybe I will do some research on that when we are in one of our breaks. Well, that, see. that's your homework. That's my homework. And I want it before the end of this match or you get detention. That's nothing new to me. I learned how to to sign the detention slips myself by the by the end of seventh eighth grade. <laughs> well, what a swing this could turn out to be, and I'm going to go back and look at this match afterwards and I'm going to fast forward to that shot she had on the three you mentioned the fact that she's down there and we're up here that's that's why we're in these separate locations that we are Sometimes, though, Keith, we see things up here that they don't see down on that table. And I stand by my original comment. I think that was a mistake not to go for the three. You're going to die on that hill, aren't you? Put that on my gravestone. <laughs> Should have gone for the three. <laughs> so well, it could prove to be. I mean, it's already proved to cost her one game. It's going to cost her two now. Could it cost her the match? Oh, she hit that wrong. She'd love that one again. She jumped up on it. Didn't get the draw on it that she wanted. Ended up with the Q-tip raising up. Didn't get the draw on it. So is this another turning point? Possibly, I mean, she's, it's a tester, it's not impossible. That looks like one of the sudden death uh, shootout shots. Yeah, it's placed in the right position. In it goes. In it goes. Wow, we're tied up, 7-7, seven, seven, and we're off for just two. See you soon, guys.
welcome back to the first semi-final in this year's Kamui WPA Women's World Nine Ball Championships here at the lovely Harris Casino in Atlantic City, New Jersey. Breaking off to go in front for the first time in this match and what a time to go in front it would be. To get on the hill, who's gonna get their first chow breaking off? We're level. One ball in the side. Oh, look. Shot look at two. that cue ball and that two ball. Well, look at the way they've spread. This is beautiful. Two to the three. No problem. Every ball in an open position. Nothing on the rail apart from the eight, but that's even off the rail. And that young lady there will be thinking, where did it all go wrong? She was sailing. Now she's sinking. Yeah. <laughs> and Chow with the wind in her sails. Look at this. Needs to come with a little bit of a shot here, though. A little bit of stun right, or is she going high left, is she? Yeah, a little bit of stun around the back of the nine. Two rails. Oh, where's the cue uh -oh. ball? Oh, just caught the six. That's twice now she has flirted with disaster. She got, I think, a little bit too close to the six ball for her liking. She's pushed it onto the rail. Not that it will matter. It's over the same side as the seven. This now is the key shot. And it's a shot that she shouldn't really be having to play. She's gone closer to this rail than she wanted. Yeah, calls her extension. Both players have one per rack each. 30 seconds, of course. Big, big shot coming up. Played it perfect. What a shot. And we need to go one rail up for the six from here. I like just drawing here, Keith, to be, if I'm honest, just draw. That's what she's doing. Yeah, just draw it over. Left herself a nice angle on this. And then it's about the seven to the eight. What a strong play up. She has no give up in her DNA. I was there when she won the World Temple in Austria. Oh, don't go straight though, she's overhit this a little bit. Oh, she's okay though, she can just draw straight back and she'll be away from that rail. Just stroke this in. And look at that, we got two chows for the price of one. Poetry in motion. This to go on the hill. And in it goes. And she is on the hill. And then there's a young junior world champion sat up in the bleachers. I'd love to just get a focus on her if we could. Puerto Rico in Puerto Rico in November that young lady there cheered on a junior world champion Hong from Chinese Taipei and she sat just up in the bleachers there behind her and there was a lovely moment when Chow gave her the high five in the final as, as Hong prepared for her final she became the junior world champion. Can this lady now become our first finalist in this year's world championship? Her nickname is Big Eyes, and she's got eyes on the big prize. 
it's thirty thousand dollars. No one ball in the side. She did make the wing ball, I think. So she can see the one, but she's gonna undoubtedly play safe here, I would think. Yeah, the wing ball got double kissed in there, the two ball. She's in charge here. This is not an easy safety. That eight ball is right where you don't want it. The camera men, the paparazzi, are around like vultures waiting for that shot, the first shot of our first finalist. Who's it going to be? Yeah, ended up playing quite a, a nice, simple little shot there. That's about all she could do. But she having left the said one that, six combo. she's left the one she six. She left the one six combo. Wow. Is there yet another turning point? Can we go heel heel in our first semi? Coming up after this, remember, Alison Fisher against Christina to catch. And I believe you're in the booth for that one with Tony Robles. In it goes. She's got a bank on the one here if she wants it. Or does she run for safety? If this was rack four or five, she would be going for the, the bank 100%. No, I, I expect conservative play here. I mean, I would go for the bank, but that's why I'm up here. Yeah, you know... She's against it, isn't she? Chow on the hill. If she misses it, it could be her last shot. If it's rack three or four, then I'm sure you go for it. I think she's going for it. No, no. she's not. Yeah. That's perfect speed. Great shot. Well played. Not over yet. She's gone for the jumper. Has she changed? No, she's still going with the jumper. Trying to jump and get the cue ball over. Behind the four, maybe, or behind the eight. Tough shot. Well, it's just a question of luck now. Has she got any? Well, she's had a little bit of a result there, but a safety again here from Soa. Leave the cue ball behind the nine. There's a piece of it though. Yeah, she went for one of those aggressive cut shots on the seven ball a few racks ago. That's what allowed her to surge out to that lead early on. I wonder if she takes this on now. No. No. That's how important this rack is to both of them. Neither of them want to give up the first opportunity. If Chow wins it, she's into the final. If Soa can win it, we're going hill, hill, thriller. I'm just talking about the general standard of play these last four days. It's just been off the scale, Keith. It has been. Oh, she's gone for this. She went all out for this. It could be her last shot. 
Oh, uh, has she been lucky? She... Yeah, she went for that a little bit tentatively as well. Not really sure what she played, to be honest. She can stop the cue ball behind the five, but can she get the one ball away? She could play a two-way here, you know. Play the bank. No, she's not. She's going full safety. Or is she? Yeah, that go. shot clock going off changed her mind. She had to make up her mind quickly and decided to play the bank. There's some risk-reward involved in that. You make the, the one in the side, but now look at what you're left yeah. for the three ball. If she'd have had more time, Keith, I don't think she'd have played it like that. It was just a, a panic reaction. Oh, look at this. Of course, when you can do that, what difference does it make, yeah. right? Still work to be done, though. Absolutely. Someone in this ever-growing crowd shouts out, Woo! As that went in, great shot. She's got to do it again, though. Thin cut in the side. She's made it. Well, this is a, a solid performance from Chow, I'm telling you. Well. Still work to be done. Three rails now from this five ball. Side rail. Bottom rail, side rail again. Head down, don't lift that head up, Chow. It's in, it's in. Where's the cue ball though? She hasn't hit it hard enough, she's short of pace. It's still not a <laughs> formality. It does bank. just when you think it's all over. She also has a safety available there with that nine ball in proximity. Yeah, she's got to play safe, is she? Yeah. Well, Soa will be pleased just to get back to the table. She's going to go back for a jump cue and she needs to hurry. I think this was a a trend started by Tyler Steyer where he'd bring both cues to the table and then drop the one he doesn't need to save time. The biggest jump shot of her life so far. Oh, it oh. was close, it was close. Where's it gonna go? It's gonna end up over the side pocket. Is it gonna go in the side pocket? No. It's over the side pocket. And it looks like it came off that rail just enough. But she has a cut shot available on it. Well, the loser of this match guaranteed $12,000. I don't know what that is in Korean currency. But it's a nice amount. I wouldn't mind it in any, any currency. Eight ball, nine ball to get into the final of this year's Kamui WPA Women's World Marble Championship. It's in just this nine ball then. What a great first semi-final. Next up, Ali Fisher versus Christina to catch. <laughs> and she's in the final. What a brilliant, brilliant match that was. If the second one is as good, you don't want to miss it. Keith Paradise, thank you so, so much. It was a pleasure. First time. I'll be Mark White. Join us soon. Keith will be back in the booth with Tony Robles. See you soon, guys. Take care. Sounds good to me, Mark. We'll see you soon.